Hi, I'm Vicki, and I want to welcome you to Vicki Marie Living Life. Roscoe is here with me. I was right out of the frame, though. Roscoe, let me just show you really quick. He went to the vet this morning, and he is not feeling good. It's just a routine check, but he actually did have to uh, get his shot um, this morning, and he got a, a heartworm blood work done and all of that. And that shot always puts him out, and he's worn out now. So... Um, yeah, so he's just sitting there and that's why I'm sort of here in the different room today filming because I wanted him to be comfortable. Uh, I do have my fur, you got to see this, my fur mama t-shirt. I got this at Sam's Club uh, while we were out. Uh, we were away this weekend. I did some shopping. I have another video coming out on um, just sort of a, a fun video of us celebrating my son's birthday and we went downtown Denver. I got some really good shots of the city and uh, things like that. But that's a different video. Um, let's, we're going to hop into the, today's video. It's going to be a tag. I was tagged in the weight loss questions tag by Anthony McNett, Strongman Lifestyle. Tony, thank you so much for the tag. It really gave me a lot to think about. I haven't put a lot of thought into my answers yet. I wanted them to be spontaneous. So, um, but this is, this is a lot of fun. Tags are fun because I think I enjoy watching them because they give me the chance to know, uh, you know, know the, my, some of my favorite YouTubers a little bit better. I learn things I don't think I would have learned about them. And for me, it's just fun for me to share some of these things in case you might be interested in, uh, in this. So, um, all right, so let's go ahead and get into the video today. I'm going to be answering 11 questions and just to keep it humming along so the video doesn't go too long, I'm actually limiting myself to one minute per question. Question number one, when did you start gaining weight? I do have the answers here on my laptop, so I will be referring here uh, below a little bit. When did you start gaining weight? Um, I had lost, I have two kids. I lost my, my baby weight, my pregnancy weight, um, but I started putting on weight again when I was about 35. Uh, and about the time I turned 50, I had a health crisis. So from about 35 to 50 years old, late 30s to 50, I carried about 35 extra pounds. And finally at 50, my blood pressure was out of control. My doctor said I had to go on medication for one year, and my doctor said if you do not make changes, you are going to stroke out. My blood pressure was just, un I couldn't control it. So um, I also was severely anemic. I had some of that going on. So I really had to make some changes in my life. So I did. So about from 35 on, I started gaining weight and uh, started really tackling it about at when I turned 50. Oops, time's up. Are you an emotional eater? Yes, I am. Um, but not so much when I'm sad or depressed because I have learn to substitute some of those things that I would have eaten before, like ice cream. If I want ice cream now, I mean, I love bananas dipped in dark, uh, like dark chocolate, things like that. So I found some really good substitutes that have worked for me. But where I get emotional is at the holidays, birthdays. We just celebrated a birthday, so you bet I had two cupcakes. <laughs> so I eat to celebrate. When we're with, with family or we go out with friends, um, for me, food is a happy occasion. So yes, I'm definitely an emotional eater. Question number three, how long have you been dieting? Um, when I seriously got, um, when I got serious about dieting, getting off my blood pressure medication, I really started cutting out the sugar and the, uh, the processed flour, uh, a lot of dairy, things like that. Uh, and I was really strict for about one year. So, I mean, I really cut a lot of that out. I was able to lose uh, 30 pounds. I worked out with a trainer, all of that. She helped me, she gave me a food guide. Um, I really adapted uh, natural, like a natural, more, eating more natural foods, whole foods, and just not eating the processed stuff. That's what worked for me. Um, I continue to do that. So let's go ahead and tackle question number four because it's it, this segues nicely into question number four. Number four, are you following a diet now? Um, yes, but no. I mean, for me, this is the way that I eat now. It is not a special diet. I don't plan to change my diet. Um, I eat what I eat. 
I do tweak it. I'm always looking for other things, exploring new things I haven't eaten before, trying new things. But my criteria really now is, is the food, does the food have nutritional content? Um, and um, so, you know, so like instead of eating ice cream, I'll eat mashed bananas. Now I do have ice cream sometimes and I do have cupcakes sometimes. So I'm not 100%. I eat pretty much what I want 20% of the time. And I try to eat according to my new, my new way of eating uh, to 80% of the time. Question number five, have you had success in the past? Yes, I have. I actually, years ago when I wanted to lose the weight from my kids, uh, you know, from my pregnancies, the way I really lost it the first time uh, is I followed the Mary Lou Henner boot camp program, uh, healthy eating. I gave up sugar, flour, like processed flour, um, cheese, like dairy, alcohol, and I thought there was one more thing and I can't remember what it was. That's what worked for me, giving up the those things. Also adding exercise. That's what's always worked. That's what worked this time for me. I lost 30 pounds, just not counting calories, not having meal replacements, just simply um, changing and eating a more healthy diet, just no processed stuff. Number six, do you follow a workout plan now? Yes, I definitely follow a workout plan. I started working out um, at the same time I started really watching the, my, my diet. I hired a trainer is what I did. I hired a personal trainer. She happened to be a nutritional coach as well. She gave me a food plan. She gave me an exercise plan. And I followed that to a T and I worked out with her at the gym. And it took me probably after working out with her for about five months to get down to my goal weight. And then I just kept going um, beyond my goal weight. My goal was to um, lose 20 pounds and I've uh, in all have lost 30 pounds and that's with lifting so uh, I definitely work out I lift weights I do cardio I do abs uh, I work out at least three times a week uh, for about an hour and a half each and uh, sometimes four times a week in the summer my, sometimes maybe five times a week when I go biking question number seven what is your favorite diet my favorite diet is just eating natural, just getting rid of the sugar, the processed flour, eating for nutritional, nutritional content. Um, I do have bread and grains. It's 100% it's whole grains. It's either 100% whole wheat or uh, grains. And I know not everyone can do that, but that's just what's worked for me. Um, I've never done like keto or anything like that strictly because um, what I've been doing works. So, uh, that that's what works for me whole gra um, whole grain whole foods cutting out the sugar um and quite a bit of dairy as well I, it's not that i give up all dairy but i've given up a lot of it question number eight how much weight do you want to lose at this point zero i do not need to lose weight at this point um however i mean i'm i fluctuate with between maybe up a couple pounds to you know there's like a four pound window that I bounce back and forth. Um, I've been doing that for about a year and a half now. I've been maintaining my weight. Um, and so I, it's not that I want to lose weight, but I definitely watch my weight. And when I get start creeping up, um, I will, you know, maybe get back on make It's just like a wake up call to get back on track. So um, I do take breaks from working out. I do go and have cupcakes and eat what I want sometimes I um, my trainer taught me to do 80% of the time follow my plan and just 20% um, of the time eat what I want so that's my timer number nine do you feel like you are addicted to food I feel like um, it's not food it's interesting because with addiction we don't have to have alcohol to be healthy you know we don't have to eat alcohol drink it we don't have to eat um, we don't have to take drugs we don't have to smoke cigarettes uh, those types of things um, we choose to do that for whatever reason it becomes an addiction foods a little different because we need food to sustain ourselves we can't live without it I personally and I'm not a healthcare professional um, but I, I always think of it this way food is not the problem it's 
the chemicals. So I am addicted to coffee, I would say for sure, but I'm not, it's not the coffee, it's the caffeine. I know for me, um, carbs like processed flour and, and in particular, sugar. Sugar, I can get addicted to. If I start eating it, I want more of it, I can tell. But if I do, if I go, oops, if I could, if I can go like five days in a row with no sugar, um, then I, I don't really want it at all. So it's the sugar and the caffeine that I am addicted to, not the food. Question number 10, how comfortable are you with your body now? Um, that's a hard question to answer, but short answer, uh, I'm not all that comfortable. I've, what I've learned is when I was 30 pounds heavier, I was uncomfortable with my body for sure, but I got accustomed. I was used to my body at the size that it was. I lived that way for 15 years, so it was just who I was. Um, then when I lost the weight and I had people actually coming up to me that I hadn't seen in a while and going, oh my gosh, girl, blah, 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 blah. What did you do? How did you do it? Uh, it was very uncomfortable for, uncomfortable for me to get that attention. And honestly, I didn't feel different. I still feel like the same person. I don't feel differently. Um, so it's, a, it's definitely a self image problem that I am working on. Um, for myself and I, I can that's something I'll continue with so I just I, I'm the same person I don't feel like I look different 11 do you feel like you deprive yourself of food no I don't I do not feel that way um, I think when years ago I felt like when I wanted to lose weight I had to deprive myself I don't feel that way anymore in this last this last time when I actually lost the weight and I had so much success I um, did not feel like I was depriving myself. I felt like it was a choice. And for me, because my doctor said, you either need to make changes or you're going to stroke out, it was an, it was an easier choice to make. So I could reach for the healthy option, knowing that that was my choice, and I was choosing my future. I was choosing a possible future of maybe having grandkids one day, being around. Um, I lost my dad when I was young. I know what that's like. I want to be around when, when I have grandkids. I didn't know my grandparents. One of my, I knew my grandmother on my dad's side, but I did not know my grandparents. Um, so they were not around. I want to be around. So for me, it's, it would, I would feel more deprived of my future if I didn't take care of myself. I would feel really sad if after all my work uh, that I've done, if I had to go back on blood pressure medicine, if my doctor said to me, you are, um, your health is deteriorate, deteriorating and uh, I, I can do something about it and I'm not doing something about it, that I would be depriving myself of my future. Now, sometimes it's not that simple. You face a health crisis and maybe there's not a whole lot you can do or you've done everything that you can and you, there's just, you know, there's nothing else you can do, uh, but you've done your part. That's a whole different thing. But for me, if there's something I can do and I'm not doing it, I'm choosing to eat ice cream rather than a healthier option. Um, I'm not deprived. I don't feel like I'm, I would rather give up the ice cream and, and be able to choose a future. And otherwise I would feel deprived of the future. I'm not deprived of one little ice cream that's not good for me. <laughs> so um, that's a mindset shift that took me, I think, a long time to make. I'm still dealing with um, my own stuff with my own journey. I am um, learning how to do life differently. I still every day have to make choices and sometimes I don't make the best choice, but I'm getting better at making choices and I'm definitely a happier person and definitely a healthier person. So my last checkup, my doctor gave me a um, clean bill of health. I'm on no medication now. I'm very, very happy about that. And I plan to, st I plan to keep it that way. So, all right, that's my tag today. I hope that that helped you. If you are on a weight loss journey or you're, you've been on one and you've had some success, I would love to hear your story. I don't know who to tag. Um, there a lot of people have already been tagged. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to put this out for anyone who would like to. I have a few people I would kind of like to tag. But I also know that um, 
you know, not everybody's really like talks about this stuff on their YouTube channel and I'm not going to put anyone on the spot. I mean, I, I mean, I'm pretty easy to, to pin down because I talk about my fitness journey, but not everybody does. So if you would like to, um, to do this challenge and be tagged, just comment below, let me know, um, and I will officially tag you. I will do, um, I will mention you in my video next time and just um, send people to your channel. Uh, I will do a follow-up video and tag you. So let me know if you guys wanna be tagged um, so I can support you and I would love to hear your answers and let me know what you guys think about my answers and if you have any questions like I said, I limited myself to a minute of question. So if you guys want me to clarify or elaborate on any of that, I would be happy to. Hopefully I was clear enough. It's kind of hard to concise it down, but uh, otherwise I this video could have been really, really long. So thank you so much for watching my video today. Uh, if you do like it, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I will see you all on the next video. Bye.